It kind of interested me that they were small and that they were hardy and that they were gentle and that they were multi-purpose and that there was a guy two towns away who had them. <laughs> so. We didn't really have people to show us how to do it. We learned how to milk a cow on YouTube, you know. There's probably many different levels of motivation, some of which are just, you know, sort of being a child of the 60s and wanting to make the circles complete and use the land that I had the best that I could. And some of it was just, you know, having always been interested in food and where my food comes from. And, you know, it just kind of suddenly made sense to me to, you know, I should fence part of this and get a cow. They're Dexters, they're an Irish heritage breed, and they were almost, I, you know, I think they were sort of on the verge of extinction probably 10 years ago. Well, Sandy's the big mama, she's the big brown one, she's the milker. Sandy's a little suspicious, Sandy's, you know, the head of the herd, and. She's the one who has to kind of watch out for everybody, and, and she's the boss mama. She's gonna make sure she gets her hay first, and she gets in the barn first. She's, she's the top cow. Sadie's in the middle, and she's very docile and inquisitive. Sticks pretty close to Sandy. And they're pretty good buddies. You know, as long as Sadie doesn't try to dominate, they're pretty good buddies. And Sadie's getting to the point where she will challenge her once in a while. Saffron is, you know, the new kid. Oh, there's the little girl. There's the little girl. She's really sweet, and we're raising her to be a milker. They're definitely a herd, even of three. You know, not a huge herd, but they're a herd. We milk at seven and five when we're milking twice a day. So the morning routine is pretty much get up, get out, get the buckets ready, go out and milk. I take two stainless steel buckets out with me and I milk into one and pour into the other just in case she kicks one of the buckets or puts her foot in it or something, you haven't lost all of the milk. So you're sort of transferring it as you milk. There's no right or wrong way to do it really. It's kind of whatever works. I usually just set the buckets up on, there's like a little stand out there um, to keep them out of the way of the hay and the muck. And then I muck out. And I try to muck out before the cows come in. So you have to kind of be quick about that. I muck out just because, you know, it's just house cleaning. So then I pretty much, you know, once they're, once she's in the stanchion and she's eating and they, usually there's another, you know, last year's calf is also in there eating behind me. You know, so I sort of set my buckets over to the side, I wash her udder, I wash my hands, and then start milking.
it's funny when you first get cows, you think, oh, I'm just gonna have one cow, you know? And it just doesn't work that way. You know, one cow isn't really happy for one thing. Um, they're herd animals and they, they want company. So, you know, right now I have three just because the last two calves were heifers. So I'm raising them to be milk cows, even though I probably will sell uh, one or two of them. I don't I mean, one of the other reasons that I think of, that, that it attracted me to having cows also was just that it was kind of an excuse for me to stay home. I think I was looking for a way to, you know, as a single woman who never got married or had kids, it was like I never had this domestic time when I could just stay home. And I felt like cows gave me permission to do that. <laughs>